Mom, those young ladies down there, they seem exceedingly alive. They haven't yet made any untoward advances, but perhaps you could speak to them? Verify their intentions are civil? Only that they appear to have some vested interest in accessing the vault. One seemed quite perturbed when I told them that wouldn't be happening. But I'm not sure if she believed me. I've been keeping watch here long enough to have learned that outside the vault, people don't always have one's best intentions at heart. I'm sorry to say it, but it's the truth. Until quite recently, it's been exceedingly peaceful. I maintained my post, greeted latecomers out of the vault, and otherwise reveled in Appalachia's natural splendor. But very recently, it seems people have come back to Appalachia. Those two and more to boot. The non-vault sort, you understand. It's all very concerning. Who knows what they might be up to? Well, yes, but it's been some time. But she was a resourceful woman. I, I'm, I'm sure she's all right. Do be careful out there, Mum. There's got to be a way in there. Maybe... Wait, a vault dweller? H hey there! Whoa, whoa! Just a friend here, not a threat. Just had some questions for you. You came out of the vault, right? I thought it was empty. Wait, is the door still open? God damn it. <sighs> we got a tip from the Wayward. Heard of the place? A new bar down the road. So this guy told us that... After you gave him the last of our caps? And he said that inside that vault is the, you know, that's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck around. You know, the thing that brought everyone back. The treasure. But... I told you, Lacey. The guy was scamming us. But... Those were the last of our caps. No. Someone has to know something. We're just gonna stick it out until we find them. Wonderful. Thanks for answering some questions for us, I suppose. Seems only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? They sent you out here without a weapon? Be a quick trip trying to do this unarmed. Here. Happy to tell you what I know. Which isn't much. Someone made a broadcast not too long back about there being some kind of treasure buried in Appalachia. We don't know what, we don't know where. But with people as desperate as they are, it's meant everyone with a functioning radio has come back to try and see if they can get a piece of it. Monsters or no? Guy we met at the Wayward. Carter, I think was his name? He gave us a couple of leads to chase down, in exchange for all our money. Up to us now to make something of them. About Appalachia? Other than it's a graveyard? There's that. We haven't been here real long, but from what we've been able to piece together, the area got hit pretty hard. Not long after, well, these things showed up. The Scorched. They're merciless. They seem to have cleaned up whoever the bombs might have missed. Without people around, everything else has gone haywire. We both came over from Virginia. Well, what was Virginia? There's a lot more hot zones that way. And the few spots that are livable, well, they got picked clean fast. I mean, Appalachia's dangerous, really dangerous. But it's better than where we've been. Hmm. If your overseer crossed our path, she sure wasn't broadcasting it. Sorry. You might ask at the wayward. Seems like they set themselves up to be a natural stopping point. Watch yourself out there.
Lady, I will paint the wall. Honey, you picked the wrong time to get a drink. What are you? Hey! Who the hell are you? None of your damn business. What's going on is that this one seems to think I know where this big treasure is, and that I'm building my new bar out of refuse for fun. Lady, this is your last warning. Our crew is getting that treasure. And I will happily send you both to the great goddamn beyond if you don't start explaining where I can find what's ours. Treasure's our crew's business, not yours. And unless I start getting answers right now, I'm gonna start shooting people. Don't worry, I'll make it quick! I told you it was gonna end badly. Now, I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. Huh. Well, not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would've hoped for. Oh, sorry about that, darling. First round's on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fellow named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Not exactly good for a budding business. Now that you mention it, I could use an extra pair of hands. See? That boy you put down. He's not the first of his crew to roll in here, but I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house, but my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? Fifty caps if you can get the job done. Primarily, I... Primarily because your security, other than me right now, are one former contractor and a robot that has no guns and thinks it's a cow. To not put too fine a point on it. So I could absolutely use another set of hands if you're willing to lend them. Only that they want something from Crane. But I think we could use that to our advantage. That is, if you're doing this job for me. I don't care how you deal with them. Sweet talk, string up their leader by his ears. Hell, buy them all ice cream sandwiches. Whatever you can do to get them to stop harassing us is fine by me. Only seems fair. The details, then. Now, each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs? Oh, darling. Um, see, as fine as that idea is, you know... I was thinking we could take a different tack. Just give me one second. Uh -huh. Okay, I think I'll just... Uh... I just want you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh, not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it, use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business, and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? You vault boys and girls carry yourselves... different. Like you matter. 
Plus, your pit boy was a dead giveaway. But that's beside the point. You think you can work from these schematics? That's the spirit. Hey, if you need a refresher, good old Morty Mort can help you out. What are you on about, Mordecai? Hey, no, nah, I'm not bragging or anything. But I've got some tapes that cover that very subject. Oh, Mort, not the tapes. Well, you find yourself wanting a refresher? Talk to Mort. Of course, you're gonna need materials. But we should have enough lying around to cover you there. Get you together a little care package. Throw some rations in there, too, so you don't starve on me. And so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials, too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Now, you ready to get this show on the road? Overseer, huh? So you must be the one. <laughs> no, I haven't seen her. But I have heard her. My people found a tape just on the other side of the road that it seems she left behind for one of her dwellers. Though it's a bit out of date now. Maybe it was waiting there for you. Happy to give it to you. So long as you're still willing to help us. Hot dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure, once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. And here, that overseer tape. Sounds like she set up that camp across the way so her people could get some practice in... self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a refresher. <laughs> 